Welcome back, Quackstronauts. It's your boy, Space Luck. And today, we're going to be talking about my first gaming setup. So we're going to jump right into this. Don't really usually do videos like this. But today, we're just going to talk about uh, my gaming setup. So here we have um, an Aeon 1179 gaming desktop. By all means, I am not a computer whiz. I'm not a computer technician. Uh, basically, when I got my gaming desktop here, uh, I'm surprised I didn't blow up the uh, blow up my neighborhood here. But I am quite happy that I did decide to get one because my old toaster laptop was not cutting it. So if you guys are serious about gaming or if you just want something to do with your spare time and you want to play games, definitely invest in a gaming desktop. So the one that I got was, once again, Aeon 1179 Gaming Desktop. Uh, in terms of processor, it has an AMD FX 6300 3.5 GHz processor. It has 8 GB of RAM and the NVIDIA GTX 950 2 GB RAM as a graphics card. And it has 1 TB of hard drive. And it also came with Windows 10. Pretty self-explanatory there, Windows 10 uh, 64-bit. And that was pre-installed, and that came up to a whipping or a whopping 699.99 plus HST, which came to $709.86. By all means, this is not the most <laughs> cheap, but you know it works for me. Okay, it works for me. I did get an LG 24-inch widescreen LED monitor, and that uh, ran for $159.99 plus HST, and it came up to a total of 100. And eighty dollars and seventy nine cents. I got this as well as my Aeon gaming desktop from Canada Computers. So if you're not a Canadian or from Canada, this may not uh, apply to you. But I'm pretty sure you can probably Google this and find out another location or somewhere near you to buy this from. Next is a ASIO wired backlit gaming keyboard, and that totaled forty dollars and sixty seven cents. Also got that from Canada Computers. I have to say, it's a little click-clacky, so to say, but it does do the job. It has a blue backlight. It looks awesome in the dark, you know. If you want to look in the dark, look cool, you know, definitely get this la this uh, keyboard here. Also got a Razer Death Adder Optical Gaming Mouse, and that totaled $56.49 from Best Buy. You know, it definitely has that uh, nice feel to it. It also has a back and a forward button on the mouse as well. So that's pretty cool, you know, if you like browsing without clicking on the forward and back button on your browser. Definitely pretty cool mouse for gaming wise. Uh, it's definitely on point. It's an optical mouse, so you know you have precision with your clicks and uh, with aiming them if you're gaming, so to say. In terms of my microphone, I got a blue Snowball microphone. It costs $79.09. Got this from Best Buy, not Canada Computers this time. Uh, it's definitely pretty good on the audio side in terms of uh, quality. And it's definitely an okay price in terms of a microphone. So it works for me. Definitely check it out. If you're thinking about a gaming setup, I'm pretty sure you guys most likely are going to need a chair. I mean, I mean, come on guys. You need something to sit on. I was actually sitting on my kitchen chair, believe it or not. And yeah, my back, at the end of the day, I'd be crouching over, limping, and... Just try and get yourself something decent. Uh, there's a lot of office chairs and gaming chairs. They're kind of expensive nowadays. But me, I personally got the AK Racing Player Gaming Chair. Once again, from Canada Computers. It costs $334.48. Pretty pricey. But it has the comfort. That's what you need, guys. You need something comfortable. Because you don't want to be sitting hours and hours on end. And not comfortable, right? So this gaming chair is actually my first gaming chair, and I have to say, even though it's been a day, I love it. Alongside my uh, my gaming chair, I also got a Logitech Z313 speaker system. It costs about $56.49. It uh, works pretty good. It comes with two speakers, 50 watt speakers, and uh, it has a subwoofer that connects the speakers. The sound is pretty good for the price quality is definitely I would say there for the price and it's definitely a viable option if you're trying to find some decent speakers for your gaming setup because you know headphones to get a little tiring after a while 
So you want to let your ears breathe. Definitely think about some speakers. These ones, got them today, and they sound great. So definitely uh, check these out. Also, all the links will be in the description below in terms of all of my, uh, my little pieces to my setup here. So definitely check out my description if you're looking for uh, something similar, something to get you started, right? We all got to start somewhere. I actually had a friend telling me, whoa, why did you buy that? You could have went custom built. Well, I bought it because I can, okay? But anyways, uh, I didn't really want to waste. Definitely uh, take your time, get something custom built and so forth, and you'll definitely save a lot of money that way. In um, my little situation there, I was eager to get a desktop, so I ended up just buying this Aeon 1179 gaming desktop. And honestly, it works pretty well. Graphics card's okay. It's not bad. And, you know, definitely works for me. So definitely get what works for you. You know, there's many YouTube videos. Google, it's free. It's one click away, guys. Just type on Google, look up custom builds and so forth. And you'll definitely find something within your price budget that will work for you. So this is just a quick little insight on my little gaming setup, quote unquote, here. And uh, it's definitely a start for me. I've been doing YouTube not too long ago, as you can probably see from my profile and the date of, of this video here. And, uh, you know, it's definitely working out for me. I have no complaints, really. Uh, and other than that, you know, thank you guys once again for watching. This is your boy Space Duck.